Welcome to our captivating journey through the rich tapestry of African wisdom and culture. In this enlightening YouTube channel, we delve into the heart of 26 African proverbs, each carrying profound meanings and timeless insights. From the vast landscapes of the continent emerge these age-old sayings that offer guidance, lessons, and a glimpse into the diverse traditions that shape African communities. Join us as we unravel the essence behind each proverb, exploring the connections between language, heritage, and life's universal truths. Prepare to be inspired, enlightened, and intrigued as we decode the wisdom embedded in these thought-provoking proverbs that transcend borders and time. However long the dry season takes, a seasonal river will never forget where it used to pass. Meaning, just as a seasonal river remains aware of its original course during the dry season, our roots and origins remain an integral part of our identity. This proverb celebrates the importance of remembering one's heritage and history. It encourages individuals to stay connected to their roots as these elements shape our character and sense of belonging. He who wants authority should never be a visitor, meaning to wield authority, one must be consistently present and engaged. This proverb emphasizes that leadership requires commitment and responsibility. Being a mere visitor lacks the dedication needed to effectively govern. It urges those seeking authority to show consistent involvement and genuine concern for the people they lead. He who runs after good fortune runs away from peace, meaning prioritizing material gain above all else can lead to a lack of inner peace. This proverb cautions against excessive pursuit of wealth emphasizing the importance of balance between ambition and contentment. It reminds individuals that true happiness involves harmony and a peaceful mind. He who has grown up should respect and love others, meaning maturity comes with a responsibility to treat others with respect and kindness. This proverb highlights the significance of demonstrating empathy, understanding, and goodwill. It emphasizes the role of elders as role models who set the tone for harmonious relationships within the community. He who feeds the child must be allowed to lick his fingers, meaning those who provide care should enjoy the rewards of their efforts. Just as a caregiver may lick their fingers after feeding a child, they deserve to benefit from their nurturing role. This proverb promotes acknowledging and appreciating the contributions of caregivers and providers. He who dies of overeating doesn't wither, meaning this proverb humorously points out the irony that overindulgence does not lead to deterioration. While excessive eating might not cause physical withering, it serves as a cautionary reminder against gluttony and excess. It underscores the importance of moderation in all aspects of life. He is a wise man who has no worries about the things he doesn't have, but rejoices for those things he has. Meaning, true wisdom involves contentment and gratitude for what one possesses. This proverb encourages focusing on blessings rather than dwelling on what is lacking. It promotes a positive outlook on life appreciating one's current situation while striving for self-improvement. Good music goes with good food, meaning this proverb highlights the connection between joyous experiences. Just as good music complements good food, positivity in various aspects of life creates a harmonious environment. It emphasizes the importance of surrounding oneself with positive influences and pleasurable experiences. Follow the liar right to his door, meaning this proverb advises being cautious and discerning when dealing with deceitful individuals. Following a liar to their doorstep symbolizes revealing their true intentions and exposing their falsehoods. It encourages individuals to be vigilant and prudent when navigating relationships and situations. Every exit is an entry to somewhere, meaning this proverb underscores the cyclic nature of life and change. Exiting one phase or situation signifies entering a new one. 
It encourages embracing transitions and challenges as opportunities for growth and transformation. It promotes a forward-thinking mindset and adaptability in the face of change. Even if you're rich, you cannot bury yourself. Meaning, this proverb underscores the universality of mortality. Regardless of one's wealth, everyone faces the inevitability of death. It emphasizes the impermanence of material possessions and encourages humility in recognizing the shared human experience of mortality. Eating is kinship, meaning, Sharing a meal symbolizes unity and connection. In African cultures, eating together signifies bonds of kinship and community. This proverb reflects the communal value placed on meals, promoting the idea that dining together strengthens relationships and fosters a sense of togetherness. Don't seek to hurt any man, but if any man seeks to hurt you, may he break his neck, meaning this proverb advocates for non-aggression, but also emphasizes the concept of karma. It encourages individuals not to initiate harm, but if someone intends to harm them, the harm may return to the instigator. It emphasizes justice and suggests that negative intentions can backfire. Don't expect to be offered a chair when you are visiting a place where the chief sits on the floor, meaning Understanding cultural norms is essential when visiting new places. This proverb highlights the importance of respecting local customs and hierarchies. It encourages adapting to the practices of the environment you are in, rather than expecting them to conform to your own expectations. Do not eat the fingers that feed you, meaning this proverb underscores gratitude and appreciation for those who provide for you. Just as you wouldn't harm the fingers that feed you, you should avoid harming the sources of your support and sustenance. It promotes respect and acknowledgement of the contributions of others. Chop your own firewood and it will warm you twice. Meaning, taking personal responsibility yields double benefits. Cutting and preparing your own firewood not only warms you physically, but also provides a sense of accomplishment. The proverb encourages self-reliance and the rewards that come from investing effort in one's own well-being. Better to bite your tongue than biting your words. Meaning, this proverb emphasizes the value of self-control and communication. Holding back hurtful words prevents potential conflicts and maintains harmony. It encourages thoughtfulness in speech recognizing that words spoken in anger or haste can cause lasting damage. Be careful of what you own because what you own might eventually own you. Meaning, possessions should not dictate one's life. This proverb warns against materialism, reminding individuals not to become overly attached to belongings. It highlights the importance of maintaining control over possessions rather than allowing them to control one's happiness or priority. As long as a cock lives, it is said to have belonged to the child of the house. But when it is slaughtered for supper, it is then that the real owner emerges. Meaning, ownership is only confirmed when actions match words. This proverb reflects the reality that claims of ownership can be theoretical until proven. It advises that true ownership is demonstrated through actions and responsibilities, not just words. Listening is the most difficult skill to learn and the most important to have. Meaning, actively listening requires effort but yields invaluable rewards. This proverb emphasizes the importance of attentive listening and effective communication. It underscores the significance of truly understanding others fostering better relationships and making informed decisions. Lack of knowledge is darker than night, meaning this proverb highlights the importance of knowledge and education. Darkness symbolizes ignorance, suggesting that ignorance is a deeper darkness than the absence of physical light. It underscores the value of learning and gaining insights to illuminate one's path and make informed decisions. It's the big birds that teach the young ones to fly. Meaning, this proverb emphasizes the role of experienced individuals in guiding the next generation. 
Just as older birds teach young ones to fly, elders pass down wisdom and skills to the youth. It highlights the significance of mentorship, where experienced individuals help younger ones develop and succeed. It's better to eat a mushroom in freedom than to eat meat in slavery, meaning this proverb promotes freedom and dignity over material comfort. Enjoying a simple meal in freedom is preferable to indulging in luxury while being enslaved or oppressed. It underscores the value of autonomy and self-respect, emphasizing the importance of maintaining personal agency and integrity. It is unwise for one to think that a hen will ever be accorded respect in the land of the hawks, meaning this proverb cautions against unrealistic expectations in certain environments. Just as a hen won't be respected among hawks, individuals may not receive recognition or respect where they don't naturally belong. It encourages awareness of one's surroundings and adapting appropriately. It is not the lamb that should go and ask the lion if it has had dinner, meaning this proverb advises against putting oneself in unnecessary danger. A lamb should not approach a lion to ask about its meal, as it could be mistaken for prey. It underscores the importance of caution and avoiding situations where one's safety is at risk. It is a surprise that the cock should hold a grudge against the pot instead of the knife that killed it, meaning this proverb emphasizes misplaced blame. The cock should be upset with the knife that caused its demise, not the pot used for cooking. It reflects the human tendency to direct anger at secondary factors rather than addressing the root cause. It encourages understanding the true source of problems. In a family, if you have somebody who is troublesome, it's the family members who are worried rather than the troublesome member. Meaning, this proverb highlights the impact of a disruptive member within a family. The proverb suggests that the troublesome individual may not fully grasp the concern their actions cause. It underscores the collective nature of family dynamics and the responsibilities of each member to maintain harmony. As we conclude our captivating exploration of 26 African proverbs and the invaluable lessons they bring, we hope you've embarked on a journey of cultural enrichment and self-discovery. These proverbs, deeply rooted in the African experience, bridge generations and continents offering profound insights applicable to our modern lives. We invite you to reflect on the threads that bind humanity together, the shared values that transcend borders. If you found these proverbs as inspiring as we have, don't forget to hit that like button to express your appreciation. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content that celebrates the wisdom of diverse cultures worldwide. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening voyage, and remember, wisdom knows no boundaries.